Okay. So you've set everything up. You've done your research. You've got all your notes. You know your NPCs, your monsters, your combat, your players, your adventure. You've got everything ready to roll. Now, the moment of truth. You're going to run your very first game. You've only got one shot. Do not miss it. Wait, no, wait. You have... You actually have... You have lots of shots. This is... Is this serious business? <laughs> Okay, don't panic, take a deep breath, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna walk you through how to actually run the very first session, not just prep for it. If you do want advice on how to prep for your first session, we've got a video, and I think I can make that happen right there. Kapow! I'll put an annotation apologizing for that. If it's not there, I might be an idiot. Step one of five, start hard, start fast. Decide if everyone knows each other. Sometimes you'll do that, sometimes your players will do that. All you have to do is understand what the relationships between the player characters are and why they are currently in the same place as the adventure begins. Don't waste time lounging around picking your nose. Start where the action starts. Get right to it. Throw yourself in as hard as you can. The party is together. Everybody's at the table. Just go. A good way to tell if you're starting hard enough is, can I chop this off at the beginning and just like say, well, you guys got the job and now you're on the caravan. Do it. Start where the story really begins, where the conflict happens, where the players are making important decisions. Prologues aren't as important as you think. Just get everybody on the same goddamn page and start playing. Get right to it. Watch the conflict. What are they doing? What problem are they solving? Get right in there and be like, Argh! Point two, remember, objectives are to be beaten. The player characters are the fucking heroes. They are the goddamn badasses that are gonna save the day. Remember that, you as the DM, Shouldn't worry in your first session about nail-bitingly close combats or any of that. Just sit down and make certain that you've told a story where the player characters saved the goddamn day. Help your players make a story about their characters whooping ass and being awesome. Step 3. Expect it all to go sideways. Shut up! Don't be afraid to ask for a minute to think. If the players just went off into left field and you have no idea what you're doing, that's not something you should be afraid of. That's awesome. That's where you get to discover what's happening along with the players. Work with them to discover what happens. That's the whole point of being a DM. The whole game is a conversation anyways. Talk to the players. Find out what they want to do. Find out why they want to do it. Work with them. They're literally doing your job for you. Because anytime you had an encounter plan that you didn't use and you had to make one up on the spot, you can kind of set this encounter aside and use it later. Discover the story together. Discover the action together. Play the game with each other. I guarantee you'll have a good time. Don't be afraid of this. Point four. Try and know the rules. This one's a little complicated. There's a lot of reading to do. There's three huge books. You're not going to know all the rules. Just try your best. Understand how the system works and how the game is played. But if you don't know in the heat of the moment exactly how many feet somebody is supposed to be able to jump, don't fret it, just ask for an athletics check. You won't get all of the rules right all the time. Instead, take my advice. Don't waste time looking them up at the table. My general rule is that I make a ruling, it stands in the moment. Afterwards, during a smoke break or a snack break or a beer run or after the game, somebody can talk to me about how this rule is supposed to work and we'll look it up and find the way the mechanics are supposed to go. Then, from then on, we do it correctly. We don't interrupt the adventure to educate ourselves. This is an orc slashing mashup dungeon crawling adventure epic music Game of Thrones awesomeness. This isn't a sit down and being out nerded by each other math fest, okay? The final point that I'm going to make here is you are going to fuck it up. You're going to make poor rulings. You're going to get the rules wrong. You're going to, you, you know, you're going to leave players with a, with a sour taste in their mouth as you describe something, or you're going to miscommunicate. Don't panic. You do this all the time anyways. Nobody communicates 100% of the time perfect with perfect clarity, and nobody gets exactly what they want every time they sit down to do anything. It's okay. Just run with it. Having an awesome conversation with that dwarven blacksmith that's the goddamn point. Having an epic decapitation roar, having the awe tearing the arc apart. That's the point. Laughing because that goblin rolled a natural one and went, ah, fiddlesticks! And hit his fucking face on the desk. That's the point. All right? Never lose sight of that. The whole point is the fun. Ultimately, if you had fun, you did it right. You can do it more accurately next time. That's cool. I'm Evil Squeegee, and this has been my guide to your first session, how to actually run the damn thing. Again, if you're looking for information on how to prep, 
There's going to be a link somewhere around here, maybe in the description, I'm not certain. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I love to hear from you guys. I'm Evil Squeegee, and I'll catch you guys later. Adios. You follow the dancing light of the Game Wisps through the fairy marsh, with a trusty blade at your hip and a sturdy shield at your back. You have traveled many months without so much as a soul of your own kind to speak of. Long ago, your songbird, lovingly named Twitter, had passed away. You were a prisoner of the Fae for many centuries, locked in a land where time obeyed different rules and had a funny way of twisting your perceptions. Only now do you cross the great barrier between worlds, and as you slip into a more constant, less tumultuous time stream, you can feel your very soul twitch. And then comes that oh-so-familiar discord of physicality crashing through your very being as you become material once more. A free human, you look over the landscape that seemingly materializes before you, sprawling hills and forests, kingdoms and villages as far as the eye can see. You don't know where you are, or when you are, but you intend to find out. So much to do, freedom must be bliss. Will you like? Will you subscribe? You pause to ponder this. What will be your first act as a free being? What will you do?